Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'll share six secret features in the iOS Mail app that I have stumbled upon over years of using it. iOS Mail is a pretty basic app. Apple has added some functionality to it over the years, but it's still pretty bare bones. And even though I have tried out other Mail apps, I keep coming back to iOS Mail, maybe because I like the integration with other iOS functions, maybe because I'm used to the way it works. Either way, I'm gonna share some of the secrets that I have learned over the years. Some you may know, some may be new. First up, number one, shake to undo. Okay, this is a basic iOS feature that works across all of its apps, but I feel like it's particularly important to know when you're working in mail. If you accidentally delete a bunch of text, which I do all the time, you can undo by shaking your device. So this is a little less important since recently Apple added an undo button that appears when you are composing an email, but it is useful when you have deleted a message by accident or you've moved it to the wrong folder. So I deleted this email by mistake. I shake my device to get the undo prompt. I hit undo and now it's back in my inbox. Okay, number two, draft emails shortcut. So this took me a little while to figure out, but say you're writing an email and you wanna save it for later. We all know that it's in your draft email folder, right? You get back to it by going to mailboxes, then finding the drafts folder, then selecting the draft email you were working on. But there's a shortcut. Go up to the new message icon, hold it for a couple of seconds, and all of your draft messages come right up. Nifty, right? Number three, unthread emails. So starting with iOS 10, Apple started threading emails by default. So that means that it groups all related emails together, which seems like it would be really helpful. So the problem is that some of the behavior that they've built into group messages, such as what happens when you delete one message from the thread, were making me absolutely crazy. I was losing emails and deleting important things by accident. So I try to get my inbox to zero once per day, so I can generally locate all of the emails in my thread, and I really don't mind deleting messages individually if it means that I'm not losing important stuff. So I turned off Organize by Thread by going into Settings, then Mail, then the threading area. Now each message appears separately, which makes me way less frustrated. Number four, minimize while composing. So this is a new feature that I love. Say you're composing a mail message and you need to check something in a saved folder. You used to have to hit cancel, then save, then go do your research, and then to get the mail message back, you would have to search for it in drafts, or you could use that handy shortcut that I just showed you earlier. Even so, it was a lot of keystrokes. Now, all you have to do is drag the mail down to the bottom of the page like this to minimize it. To get it back, just tap the subject line down here. So you could try to drag it back up, but that confuses the iPad sometimes, and you'll get the multitasking screen instead, so I just tap. Remember, this doesn't save the email in the draft holder, it just holds it temporarily. Okay, number five, makeshift bullets. So I'm a person who thinks in spreadsheet and bulleted format, so I find it kind of annoying that the Mail app doesn't already have a built-in bullet format function. So here's how I create a makeshift bullet. Switch the keyboard to the numbers view. If you press and hold down on the dash button, you get several options, and one of them looks a lot like a bullet. Now, it's really just a symbol character, so the text is not going to indent on the second line, but it does work in a pinch. And finally, number six, return button to advance fields. I honestly just figured this out a couple of weeks ago. When you are composing an email, I've always thought that you just you needed to tap in the space to go to the next field. For example, after putting in an email address, in order to advance to the subject line, I would tap my finger in the subject field. The problem is that this required me to take my fingers off the keyboard, which was slowing me down. What I realized is that by hitting the return button on the keyboard, I could advance to the subject field and then to the email body field without ever taking my fingers off the keyboard. For me, this saves me a little time and some momentum. So those are my six secrets. Maybe you already had those all figured out, but those are the ones that I have discovered over time. Please let me know if you have more that you would like to share. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.